y'all. What's up? What's up, y'all? You know what? Many men can't deal with real sexual dynamics. And this is why I'm saying it. <laughs> this is why I'm saying it. Because y'all know I did, uh, the other week, did that video, Five Types of Sex a Woman Will Have. And surprisingly, uh, well, not even surprisingly, most, most of the women who commented, they were like, yeah, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> They would chill with it. They were like, shoot, some even hit me up privately, tell me some more stuff. They were adding to it. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Cause some of these dudes get hot over it. Man, I've had videos I thought would get pulled from YouTube. They didn't get uh, that many thumbs down. <laughs> Man, I was like, oh, snap. Hit dogs holler. But you know what? And uh, shout out to Alan Roger Curry because he had talked about, uh, he had talked about that, did a video, and I can't recall the, uh, I can't recall the name of it, but he made it a Patreon exclusive video. But he got a lot of hits on a lot of comments. And many men out here really can't really deal with a woman's sexual nature. Now, understand something. See, a lot of there's a lot of goofy stuff going around on YouTube. I'm just gonna say that as far as interacting with the woman. I mean, people deal with what they think is social. You know, the social aspect. You know, they'd be like, Well, if I become a high value man or if uh you know, I get this money, I get this status, or even I read an article uh, last night it's about incels getting plastic surgery, you know, so they can look like Chad. And I'm like, yeah. And there's a now I told this woman I wouldn't mention her, but um, I'll just mention a comment she gave to me, and she was right, wise, wise, beautiful sister. She said, uh, you know, a woman can look at a man and admire him. Admire his looks and still keep it moving. She ain't really, she ain't getting turned on sexually. She ain't say it quite like that, but that's pretty much the meaning. You know, it don't really mean anything. And so many dudes get caught up into what they think is it. Or they get caught up into thinking, oh yeah, I'm satisfying this woman just because she has sex with them. But like I said, they can, other than lustful sex, she can have sex with you for four different reasons. Um, four other reasons. And it's, it's not really that big a deal. Some, I mean, some women just, they, it's just something to do for them, you know? But a lot of guys don't get it. And a lot of guys so focused on the other stuff, they forget that once they get in the bedroom, they still got to satisfy the woman. And see, a lot of guys, when you point this out to them, they say, no, nah, that ain't it, that ain't it. But I remember somebody did a comment said uh, something about that. It was about the money and status thing, sexually. I said, look, tell you what why don't you do a search on black male exotic dancers uh do a search on gigolos and do a search on uh sex tourism by women <laughs> that'll show you everything you need to know see a lot of guys don't want to deal with what women are doing out here sexually that's why that's why the shadow world exists that's why the shadow world exists because that place is the interface and i'm gonna use the term um Cousin T Tall use. I need to check out his channel. He he giving so much game. I'll be like, dude, I'm I'm at to talk to him private. I was like, hey, dude, you need to charge him for some of this. Shout out BGS, because me, me and BGS got a running uh, a running joke between us because uh, we, we we call each other out. We'd be like, hold up, you giving away game for free. <laughs> but look, a lot of men have to just deal with sex. I mean, it's like really the sexual education in the machine culture. And me even using the term machine culture, people know, people in my inner circle know why I use that term or my, in my particular subculture, which I don't discuss a lot, why we use the term machine culture. People in the machine culture really don't know, don't really get a good sex education. I'll give you an example. i give you an example. Seat retention. I, I meant to do a, a show on uh, what seat retention really means. People think it means not masturbating. That's not really seed retention. That's just you're not masturbating. Seed retention is being able to have raw buck naked sex with a woman. No condom. Or like in there, you know how that feels. But you can control your seed to the point you don't ejaculate. You can control your seed to the point you don't ejaculate. And that's really just a part of it because you want to... Not only control that seed, but then you want to still orgasm. 
Now, somebody would say, well, isn't ejaculation orgasm? No, it's not. And that's part of the reason why sex education in the machine culture is uh, woefully lacking. Orgasm in a man and ejaculation are two different events. A man can have multiple orgasms, which, you know, basically a contraction of the uh, prostate or any, really any type of spasm. But you don't, you don't, you don't release. Like a man can actually ejaculate and they never had an orgasm. In fact, there's a problem. I believe that problem contributes to uh, uh, to prostate cancer, but that's a whole other conversation. Man, I should have both got it there. Anyway, you know, it's uh, so a lot of guys don't understand it. They don't understand that's what seed retention really is. Being able to control your seed to that extent. And trust me, for some of y'all guys who don't like to fill in the condoms and you don't want to get the woman pregnant, you master that, boom. Like a tantrum master, that's what marks a tantrum master, being able to um, control that seed like that. And then um, it's that and then just understanding the nature of orgasm, and not just in a woman, but within themselves. But guys don't know that. But then when you try to, it's, it's funny, you try to tell guys just a little bit, just not even the mechanics of what a man's doing, but just real sexual dynamics out here. Real sexual dynamics. Because when I did that five types of uh, sex a woman will have, that's real sexual dynamics. And see, people got to look at it holistically. If women were satisfied out here, how the hell is Cousin Tito and his brothers making money? How the hell are my uh, cousins down in the islands, you know, down in Jamaica, Bahamas, shoot, even some men, even some men in Dominican Republic making money, or over in Gambia or Kenya? How they making money? How they making money? Women coming down there to get their rocks off, shit, to get their ovaries pop. They had some yachty man bust nut on their ovaries. Only for them to come back home to the man who's uh, giving them money and take that money and send it to the yardy man. Or, in the States, to Pookie and Ray Ray in them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should do a show. I, let me know if y'all want me to do like a video on Street Gigolos. The Street Gigolo is just that street cat who basically got women sponsoring everything for him. <laughs> let me know. Cause that's a real stuff but ask yourself would that exist if all these women were being satisfied sexually but see people don't talk about that people don't say hey this is what you need to do see you need that old school cat you know you know that old school cat be half the time drunk half the time be going through the neighborhood like know all the women I like how somebody said they don't what about videos he said yeah that guy who got a pep in his step <laughs> said out all the ladies in the neighborhood while their husbands at work <laughs> but no nah, that's some real stuff and you know it's a shame because I had some guys you know you get some detractors they get on there they try to attack you personally honestly don't say anything on, in a comment you can't look me in the eye and say I'll just put it like that because that's cheap to me that, that's some cheap ass shit but even then, if you get mad or something, that doesn't that doesn't change the dynamics out here. Because a lot of people want to call themselves red pill or black pill, think they know everything. But then when you hit them with some shit that really hits them hard, that got them looking at the relationship they had with their woman, they're going to get mad at you. Say, don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling you now, before you have to explain stuff to a divorce attorney or you have to, that child that you done raised, something happens, you got to get a... a you know, you got to get that child blood or something. And the doctor come and say, uh, sir, um, that's not your child. <laughs> She's something, something, you know, it's better you hear it now. It's better a little bit of pain than a lot of pain later on. And, you know, I did a video yesterday talking about just men, you know, being men just to uh, say something to a woman. One of the things about being a man is just facing reality. Women have the luxury to like walk through life with rose colored glasses on. We don't. We get real consequences when shit fuck up. Because men are warriors. And a warrior got to face shit regardless. You got to face, hey, maybe you ain't doing it for a woman. Shit, I've had to face it. Let's be real. I talk about those five types of sex. I've had all four of them. The pity sex, no woman ever felt sorry for me. Because they always looked at me like, Rom, you can get something. I ain't, I ain't trying to get nothing. I even tried it a couple times with some women. They were like, nah. 
In fact, they, they sat back and they the ones told me, say, Ron, you don't even have to do all that. They they told me straight up some older women. They told me straight up, said, look, you don't have to do all that bullshit. You just got to be you. But I know it because you experienced it. And it's no shame to say you experienced it. In fact, it's better if you experience really all five. Because then you know. Because it's one thing for me to say something. But it's another thing. You go out there and you see it for yourself. And that's one thing uh, you need to do. You need to experience it. Shout out uh, shout out to the God C. Boogie. He said that in a video. You got to... Uh, You gotta be able to experience it yourself. So that's how I know all this stuff. People ask how I know I went through it. You know, you you sweating doing all this stuff with a woman, she patting you on the she patting you on your rib or something and stuff like, wait, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> and someone tell you, it's like, uh, you finished yet? <laughs> so you know something. Or deal with some woman, she ain't really perk up and show interest until you say, Hey, I got concert tickets. She <laughs> said, Come on, man. Shoot, that's how you learn. That's how I learned when I was younger. Then I was like, oh, okay. I switched it around. And then after that, just dealt with uh, relationship sex and uh, lust sex. And sometimes lust sex, you stay in a relationship long enough, that becomes relationship sex. That's some deep science, too, why that's going to happen. But that happens. Just as an aside, and I probably need to do a video. Sometimes I got to switch it up. Y'all know what I like to say. Sometimes you got those rose colored glass, uh, well, you got those rose petals on the bed, but then sometimes you got to pull the matches into the living room. Wait for it to get home, rip her clothes off, and tap that ass like you just got out of prison. You got to switch it up. And that's for women too listening. Y'all got to switch it up on that dude. Y'all got to switch it up on him. You know, but that's, oh, those are other videos. But that's the thing out here. We don't talk, everybody's scared to talk about sex. Or really get into it, and that's really, that's really the biggest issue. Why you think some of these women ain't dealing? They know a good man. They know if you got, they know if you're a guy who paying bills, working hard, even look good. Probably they know you make a good father, all that. But they still messing with that uh, bum dude living in some basement. But that dude know how to bring it. We gotta, we gotta be real with it. And once we deal with that, then we can. Did I guarantee? I guarantee this. A uh, lot of relationships uh, stuff will change if people be honest about sex, even uh, teen pregnancy, all of that, single everything, everything will change up. Because I know, because uh, I've talked with women from Western countries, uh, Western European countries, they're more open about it. They don't have the same. They don't have the same issues. Even if they, even if they have become single parents, they don't, still don't have the same issues because they're more open about the shit. But yet, that's yet another video. <laughs> that's yet another video. Another issue with the machine culture. So, anyway. And I know somebody's going to say, what does machine culture mean? Man, that's a, that's a separate video. That's, that's the machine culture is one for my um, deep thought channel. That's how deep it is. But, um, yeah. And you know what? Um, that's why. Um, that's why on my Patreon, y'all need to check out my Patreon, particularly twenty dollar peer, because that's the twenty dollar peer is all sexual dynamics, all sexual dynamics, all stuff related to sex, and it's more than just the mechanics, because part of sexual dynamics starts just when you interact. Because, and I've said this before, for any man. Every time you interact with a woman, she is sizing you up sexually, even if even if she don't intend to have sex with you. That's always going to be a part of how she's looking at you. I mean, I've got many a job because a woman thought, I, you know, she liked how I look. So, and that's with a lot of people. That's always a dynamic. When we interact with each other, sex is always a dynamic. Because men already know it, but they don't realize women do it too, even if they don't want to admit it publicly. So, anyway... Yeah, I'm going to go get something real quick. I'll let my crew in the grocery store. Man, I got the coolest grocery store. People be coming here just to hang out and shit. <laughs> but there's a small town kind of atmosphere where I live. You know? Oh, man, you're in my spot, man. Oh, man. I'm about to hit that turn. There's about to be an accident out here. I know y'all be like, damn, bro, Uncle Ron. It's like, I'm actually a very good driver. I'm so good when cops stop me and stuff. They thank me. So, 
anyway that's it for now but yeah check out um uh, seriously check out my patreon um if y'all like what y'all seen because i'm trying to make a sales goal this month y'all can y'all can bless me my my, my um, donation link is in the description box i am got a sales goal to make and that's the sales goal thing is more about my business channel too. yeah well i'll talk about that more on my business channel but yeah so check out my patreon uh bless a brother if um bless a brother if uh you know the information i'll bring you has been a benefit to you only if it's been a benefit though if, if you ain't feeling the shit don't watch so <laughs> seriously if i'm bringing value to you so anyway y'all uh, i'll uh talk to you later peace and blessings